And they are now, they had a big event going on a couple of years ago on the internet of some people that were using Black Lives Matter sort of as a, as a front. Uh, we're starting a campaign to replace a, a statue of Christopher Columbus with one of Marsha P. Johnson, who's the most famous person ever come from the living of New Jersey. But the Michaels family said, Marsha P. Johnson, I've, I've, I've actually was uh, his nephew and the niece, and the two surviving brother and sister, had nothing to do with Christopher Columbus. The Italians in their section of town had raised the money to put up their own statue, and if they put a statue of Marsha there, it lasted about a day. We want to have a statue of Marsha in our section of town. And it just so happened that he worked for the city of Elizabeth. So the Michaels family talked to the mayor, and the mayor gave them a 15-foot square area outside of City Hall to, where they can erect a statue to, to Marsha P. Johnson and Elizabeth. And they now are starting something called the Michaels Family Foundation. They're trying to raise money and trying to, to get together. Unfortunately, they're not very connected because they're all heterosexual, but they're very open and loving. And I was hoping that uh, Anika, who is actually the grand niece now, very young, brilliant, intelligent woman, who is head of the Michaels Family Foundation, would be able to come here tonight. But uh, she has recently got married, and she's pregnant, and I'm expecting a baby shower invitation. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas about what I should get for a baby shower? I've never been to one in my life. But, but anyway, anyway, it's just it's just so beautiful to see this wonderful family, you know, picking up the torch that Marsha sort of left and sort of reclaiming, even for their own community, you know, Marsha's name and 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 having a, having an imprint put on the town where she grew up and which, which spawns her in life. And I would urge you all to join, see the Marsha B. Johnson page on Facebook, and there will be events and have things about, put on by the Marsha B. Johnson family, not the, I'm sorry, the Michaels family. <laughs> I'm getting everything mixed up. Marsha's real name was not for Michaels, so it's actually called the Michaels Family Foundation, you know, which is raising the money to create, but, we need to get more connected because, like you feel like the argument here to have the city put up the money, they also need to raise funds. And actually, somebody got them got clothes to donate all the clothes that they had used in the first series to them. And I said, "Wow, here's your money. Here's a yeah. You know, this is something to really take advantage of." They didn't know what to do with a truckload of clothes. They ended up giving them away to the poor people in Elizabeth on this on the Friday before Gay Pride Day, where even gay people or trans people from Elizabeth would be in New York for the Trans Visibility March or other activities. So anyway, I, I just want to thank you all, and I really want to congratulate Jesse for having really created, he created something out of love. He has pay it no mind tattooed on his two arms. Uh, he created something out of love, which is a real power behind Marsha B. Johnson. Marsha B. Johnson is a giant because she was lived and practiced that rarest of all things among human beings, true, real love. Thank you very much.